What's up gamers? Today we're going to be doing a general overview and review of the RNVG housing and night vision setup. Uh, I've, spend, I've been spending quite some time under these recently, so finally feel like I've got enough information about how they work, what they do, what they don't do, uh, to be able to speak on them. And secondly, we're going to be doing a review of, the, of Steel Industries as a company. Uh, that's who I purchased these for, uh, but we'll get to that later on. So these are the RNVG housing, AB night vision RNVG housing. Uh, these are filmless white phosphor. These have filmless white phosphor tubes in them. I've got them capped off. But uh, first thing I'll say is that uh, most recently they've released this little this little bridge right here. This little lowering mount. And that is awesome because when I first got these, I didn't really notice it. But uh, when you have these RNVGs, even with a decent helmet, is that you'll actually have to uh, max out your adjustment on your G24 or whatever mount you're using. You'll have to drop it all the way down. Uh, you'll have to drop it all the way down, and that still probably isn't down far enough to match up with your eyes properly so you'll end up having to like cant your helmet forward or uh, use the adjustment lever on the side to jam it back into your eyeballs a little bit better but with this uh, it lowers it it pushes the RNBGs down and back like about like a, a full inch I think back like a full inch so it actually really makes it a lot better to line up with your eye my g24 is back in the middle where it's you know where it should be essentially and i'm in the middle on the adjustment notches this way as well because it pushes it so far back if i were to put this on it basically backs up right in, right in front of my eyes which is amazing i don't have too many complaints about it you know what you're getting when you're getting into it. you're getting a big block of aluminum that uh you know non-articulating you can still see, especially if you push this forward or you don't have this bridge, uh, you can push these forward a bit and still get pretty good peripheral vision out of it. Um, so you can see around and you're not just, you know, looking through a toilet paper tube. Uh, that's, you know, depending on what you're doing. I just run them back as far as I can because, you know, just walking through the woods. Um, I know that from what I've read that I had to buy this separately because when I got them, from steel uh, they basically if you've purchased these before you have to buy this separately which kind of sucks but you know whatever I guess that's just the name of the game uh, now I know or from what I've read that most RNVG or all RNVG housings new will be shipping with this drop-down bridge standard from what I understand that may not be correct but I'm pretty positive that's correct um, so you won't have to really worry about oh, should I buy it should I should should I not eh, it'll be there if you're buying them new uh, if you don't have it I highly recommend it. it's like 50 bucks and it makes it a lot more comfortable to use and wear for a long period of time so you're not having to constantly push the front of your helmet down back in front of your eyes it kind of gets annoying um, it's a solid mount so it's aluminum it's uh, it's a good mount uh, another another cool thing I'll say about the RNVGs is that they're Illuminator. I had a PBS 14 before it before this, but as people say, uh, once you get a night vision, you're going to want dual tubes. I and mean, that's the route I went. I sold my PBS 14 and got these. Um, the Illuminator on these is pretty insane. If you uh, you'll see people who mount like on helmet IR devices, and with this, it's definitely not necessary because if you get spend another 20 bucks and get this PVS7 illuminator dial, it you can focus it. You can focus your IR light and I you can hit trees at like with a pretty 
powerful beam. You can hit it. You can hit a tree at 75, maybe 100 yards. It's pretty impressive. I might try to roll in some footage if. That it is. Here's an illuminator. Strength test. That's pretty far, man. It's at least like a hundred yards. That's pretty crazy. From the past few weeks where I've been using these pretty heavily, uh, they're awesome. There's no really downside besides non-articulating unless you're like high speed, you know, whatever all that stuff so yeah I don't really care that much about articulation uh, I'm more interested in absolute reliability and ruggability which these are ruggedized night vision goggles they're probably the most probably the most durable ones you can get on the market right now uh, but also one of the heavier ones so yeah and I'm not saying not uh, I'm not saying articulating ones aren't durable these are just more. These are just more durable. That's literally it. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about these. There's really no shortcomings in my opinion. I don't mind non-articulating. I don't really, I don't really flip up and down all that much. Like I said, if you pull them out, you can get peripheral vision enough to do whatever you need to do. But you know, do what you want. All right. So here's my steel industry review side of the video. Um, I ordered these. Uh, quite a while ago from uh, from the website uh, I was able to talk to Andrew uh, I was on the phone with him for probably a couple hours honestly just going over specs and the differences and what they mean and I had watched video like Silent Solutions videos on the specs and stuff like that but just from someone who had very little experience in it Andrew was super helpful got me everything I needed and the cool thing about steel is that some night vision companies will make you pay to pick your tube to hand select your night vision goggle you end up with the cool thing with steel is you can just request to do it if you don't say anything I think they'll just send you one but on their website it says quite clearly that you can just ask to hand select them and they'll call you and you can they'll go over specs blemishes anything like that with you and they'll point you in the right direction and you can pick which one you want or don't want or whatever and so I really appreciated that so because my first one my first PBS 14 I just bought from I think I bought from Envision Optics and uh, it was great uh, there's nothing wrong with it but it is just nice knowing that you're slinging that much cast you actually have peace of mind knowing you're not gonna you know get kind of you're not gonna be <laughs> damned to the bottom start, bottom of the spec sheet if you don't you know if you don't have to be so i ordered these um quite a while ago and uh it wasn't steel industry's fault um but l3 was having major issues with sending out i guess it was just abhorrent um they were sending out tubes that weren't meeting basic specs and i guess it was just a plague and so they are steel was and I think it was across the whole night vision industry. People were receiving night vision that didn't re meet minimum specs, so they were having to send them back and then wait for the replacements to come in. So I ordered it at just a really bad time. So I waited, like, I want to say it was like four to five months. Um, and I requested to have them by a specific date because I was uh, going out of state, going to have a good time with them. And uh, they were like, the guys were like, yeah, this should be doable, not a problem. And my date just kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. It wasn't Steel Industries' fault. It was literally all, there's nothing they could have done about it. And I was getting, I got frustrated, but you know, you can't be, you can't kill the messenger. And uh, so I asked to have it by a specific date. Uh, that didn't happen. But what was cool is that um, Duncan, another dude at Steel, uh, sent me out a pair of loaner tubes um, for around the date that I wanted to go, uh, that I was wanting to have them. So they sent me out a pair of uh, filmless RNVGs, just like the ones I ordered, uh, and they let me just 
go nuts for like a week and a half with them had a good time with them and then they requested them back packaged up send them back no questions asked no charge nothing they didn't charge me shipping they paid shipping both ways which was an awesome awesome move and still thank you guys for doing that that was super cool um so i sent them back and then my the day of my trip came i ended up just borrowing a friend's uh night vision device which turned worked out really well um uh so i just used his for that had a good time and then uh as soon as i got back these the they said these were ready had them shipped and uh they went over the specs with me i requested minimum i requested specs and they went over with them and these ones almost in every department exceeded the specs that i requested so these are like 35 35 snr uh evi is like 0.7 uh on these um no blemishes uh just pretty pretty insanely high-end tubes for what i pay i paid for the 18 uh 18 um specs and these one i'm super happy with going with steel industries um they also sent me also sent me a couple stogies thanks for that uh haven't done anything with them yet but uh yeah if when it comes to spending your money steel industries is in contact all the time anytime i texted them i got a response anytime i called them when i was getting frustrated they were understanding and uh they just helped out in any way i think i think the l3 whole l3 debacle from what i'm seeing in groups and whatnot is completely over now i'm seeing night vision devices in stock from you know steel gooning gear ready to ship so that's cool it's good to see that's turning around and people aren't having to wait these insane amount of times but uh when it comes to spending your hard-earned money on a night vision device especially when you're spending this much you know you want you want transparency you want communication you want immediate responses you want people on the phone with you when you want to talk about it when you're wondering about it and they are a plus on all of those fronts and like i said when i was having issues they sent me out loaner tubes and they they got me taken care of it with the and the the result of my waiting i am absolutely stoked about these are as good as i could possibly ask for so yeah i would just uh spend your money knowing that steel industries will get you taken care of and uh you'll love the product you get you're gonna have a great time with them do not bother me i just want to be left alone hey